Well, welcome back to another episode of Who the F***, the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts performing across festival season 2021. In today's episode, we're looking at Nova Twins. They're a very heavy duo from, where are they from, like London, I think? If you've never heard of them before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, who the f*** are Nova Twins? I just want you Amy Love and Georgia South are the two members of Nova Twins. They're from London, England. Enemy describes them as sitting in the same realms Enter Shikari and Prodigy, but with nods to grime, new metal, and arena rock. The Guardian describes them as a bass heavy duo fusing grime and punk, and by themselves as urban punk. PRS Music calls them a genre blending amalgamation of raw punk energy, illegal rave electronics, and unapologetic grimy attitude. I think like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. They're just like a big loud duo. I think it's okay to just call them that. I don't think we need to go into that much detail. They're like the aggressive side of Wolf Alice and Yonaka, but heavier, with an industrial influence that reminds me of people like Marilyn Manson and Nine Inch Nails. They also have that kind of rap rock kind of thing. Could be inspired by like rage. Reminds me of people like hacktivists. They formed the band together in 2014, named Brats, B-R-A-A-T-S, releasing the song Bad Bitches under that name. <laughs> They spent most of 2017 touring and supporting Prophets of Rage, the love child of Cypress Hill, Public Enemy, and Rage Against the Machine. In an interview with The Enemy, Tom Morello would go on to name them the best band you've never heard of. They've since gone on to support Wolf Alice, Lil Sims, Dream Wife, Black Honey, and Skunk and Nancy, and also in 2017, self-released the singles Thelma and Louise and Mood Swings. Queens of the Damned. 2018 saw them self-release the singles Hit Girl and Lose Your Head. Towards the end of the year, they were going to start recording their debut album with, with producer Jim Abyss, who has previously worked with artists such as Editors, DJ Shadow, Kasabian, Bombay Bicycle Club, Uncle, and Jack Pinate. In 2019, they would go on, to, on tour to support fellow Reading and Leeds artist Fever 333. You can also go and check out their WTF video from before. And we'll go on to release the records Devil's Face and Vortex. The In December of that year, they were gone to sign to Fever 333's record label 333 Records, that's with a W, and announced the name of their debut LP, Who Are The Girls? In an interview with Kerrang, the band said, Who Are The Girls is dedicated to all the people who, who are beautifully diverse and creating their own lanes. It's a celebration of those who feel like they don't fit in. The title is ironic, as there is little representation with diversity at shows we play there. And there wasn't any diversity to see where we were growing up. Our audience have been our biggest supporters, encouraging the creativity and ideas behind the album. It's amazing to finally be able to translate our live sound into an LP, so that everyone who wants can join in the madness. We can only hope that the album empowers people the way that it had empowered us. This one's for all the supernovas. Keep shining bright. Jason from Fever 333, Fever 333 says, the whole idea of 333 Records crew is to offer a creative alternative to the banal structure of the music industry, as well as stopping and propagating art that challenges. Nova Twins are literally the empowerment of this idea. Two black women in rock music twisting the convention of a genre, whose only chance for survival is to evolve. Noble Twins are that evolution. They're so damn important to this music and I'm gonna make sure that people see that. Last year, they featured on the latest project from Bring Me The Horizon on the record One Times One, a monster of a record. And they're killing me one by one. Never touch myself again. And some great recognition from arguably the most heavy band around at the moment. They're racking up nearly 71.5 thousand plays on Spotify a month with the most successful record, Baseline Bitch, toasting nearly 300,000 views on YouTube. Pick it up, pick it up, watch them fall. You know what time it is, murder that Baseline Bitch. This is their first time playing Reading and Leeds. Currently, it looks like they're playing the main stage west on Friday at Reading, Saturday at Leeds. They're meant to play last year. They didn't play last year. I wrote this video last year, I think. I wrote this video last year for them to play last year, so. 
a lot of it might almost sound a little outdated. Some of those facts around their play count is very possible, but they're a very, very, very cool act. Yeah, if there's nothing else going on, they're absolutely a band that I would go check out. I think it's really great to see young women, young black women, like real diverse, especially in like the heavy scene. It's usually full of like angry white guys. So it's nice to see something that's not that. Yeah, they're, they're a really cool, cool band. And I, and I love, I, I love to see the idea that there's going to be another girl in that audience that's going to be inspired by them to go and make the next most amazing album in the entire world. And I think the more diverse, diverse we have, the, the better the music gets. That's, that's my opinion of it all anyway. What do you think? Have you seen Never Twins perform before? Will you be going to check them out at this year's festival? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.